Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 75 for learning MEM and system in Django with React.js. In our previous video, we have seen that how we can add the questions to the quiz. Okay, so we are working on the quiz system, right? And uh, when we go to the quiz, and uh, here we have a add question. I think in the previous video, maybe I have not show you, I have not uh, shown you the form, but uh, I have uh, set some code and I have already uploaded on the GitHub. So with the small support, or you can say the support. So with the, I mean to say with your small donation, uh, you just send me your email ID, I will send you the GitHub access. Okay, so everything is uploaded on the GitHub, right? And I will uh, uh, give you the repo access after your uh, support, right? so yeah so this is a questions and all questions we have right and now i am going to implement we are going to implement we will assign the quiz right we have a quiz and in particular quiz we have questions right here we have a python and in this we have uh, this these two questions okay so the thing is currently we didn't work on the edit and delete but we will do that the thing is uh, i am going to assign the quiz to the course so here we have a course we will include a button and we will say assign quiz and then in the model we will show all quiz and just uh, uh, teacher can uh, click the button and he can assign the quiz right so let's do that so let's first first of all we need to create the button so we will go to the all course right so teacher in this we will go to uh teacher courses here we have here we are right and now we will make another button add chapter after the add chapter we will say we will just say or let's let's call this well let's create this new a uh, page and we will say assign quiz right let's say assign quiz assign quiz okay and in this we will say uh, this will show all the okay so this is uh, course ID and here we will show assign quiz okay and in the assign quiz we are passing the course ID okay and uh, assign quiz we will show all the quiz right so here we have a button now i'm going to make this button as a warning you can say okay so this is the button right so uh, when we click on this right so when we click on this it will show us the page where all the quiz will show right so let's uh, create this let's create this and uh, we will show that right so let's create this uh, we will say assign quiz right dot js right so this will be similar as we are enroll the enroll in the course like student enroll in the course we will do that right so uh, let's uh, take a look on the model that uh, we have created the model for that or not so let's go for the main and the models dot py file and here we have a course quiz right so course and quiz and add time right so yeah this is fine and uh, what we need to show we need to show all the quiz okay so let's uh, copy this all quiz section copy this and paste it here right and we will just uh, not give anything we will just give a link here we have a link these are for all questions right so here we have a quiz and we need to give uh, okay what we will give here uh, let's see that what we can give okay so teacher courses here we have a assigned quiz quiz id okay let's go for the main component and here we will say assign quiz assign quiz and this will be course id huh? course id and we will say assign quiz right and we will fetch this here right so this will 
assign quiz and we will add it here so now it's a sign quiz here main component is here sign quiz will fetch all the data of the quiz actually all the data of the quiz okay okay all the quiz actually it will fetch all the quiz okay so let's click on this okay it's fetching all the quiz now we need to modify <coughs> first of all we will say assign quiz we will say assign quiz right and uh, this is uh, name we will do the action we have only one action we will apply only one action right so let's say assign uh, or we can just simply remove this and just we will say assign quiz assign quiz button right so when we click on this this will pass the quiz id and it will do the work so let's make this name assign quiz and here is the quiz id and everything is fine so assign quiz and uh, we will make it success right so we have this quiz and uh, we are in the course so in which course we are let's say uh, this is a teacher quiz and uh, we will fetch the quiz id huh? so let's fetch the uh, sorry course id so we have a course detail here somewhere let's say uh, we have course chapters here let's fetch the course id hmm? we have this course id okay so now we have a course id we can fetch the course data right so let's fetch the course data from the course detail not from the course detail actually with the help of this code right so we are assigned quiz and let's add it here okay so we don't need to say these things we will just pass course id here we are and set course data so we need course data actually one okay we don't need this total result and we will say course data right and we will copy this paste it here right and course data is uh, here we are course data okay yeah we need that so course and course id and uh, course data so set total result oh we need the total result or oh, don't need that right and uh, what else we need okay here we will name the course course data dot title right so it will be error so let's go for the console right use params is not defined it means we need to fetch that right so let's fetch the data use params huh uh, use params here we are assign quiz and use params we are good right so we have this course oh you are right this will be like this django full course huh and then we will say a uh, course name cut paste class and say text primary okay so this is assign quiz to assign quiz to django full course so when we click on this okay so when we click on this uh, it means this quiz will be assigned to uh, Django full course, right? And uh, when we click on this, this will be unassigned button. Or we can say just assign this and remove this from the list. Okay. So we will show here only the assigned quiz, right? So that our data integrity will be okay. Because uh, if we toggle that, then we need to check that if student uh, not uh, uh, attempt that quiz. Okay. So we will not do that. 
we will just remove if a quiz has been assigned we will just remove that from the list okay uh, from the assigned list right so let's uh, complete this functionality so i'll take reference from enroll quiz right so let's go for the course detail here right and uh, we have enroll status so we will copy this okay and uh, let's go for the sign and we will say here it's uh, and not enroll status this is a say assign status right so this will be assign status here first of all and let's move this here okay and after that uh, we will uh, fetch enroll status it means fetch assign status right so we will fetch the assigned status so after the uh, in the use effect huh? so in the use effect here we are fetch assign status so it will be fetch assign status and here is a teacher id right and this will be quiz id right we can also we can also even pass only the quiz id that will work okay so okay so let's say uh, set assign status and this will be success right and according to that according to that status enroll status here we are where it is there this is enroll status and with that status right with that status we are uh, changing the conditions right so here we are okay so only if the status and all status is success then uh, not success then we will show the button else the button will not show here or we can say just we will show the arrow else it will not show right we will show the row else it will not show right so here we are and let's say and and it will be assign status assign status not equal to success right so if not equal to success then uh, it will show this uh, assign quiz button else it will not show right so assign status here we uh, success fetch assign status uh, quiz id uh, assign quiz okay so this quiz id will be uh, fetch assign status fetch assign status of this particular assign quiz when we click on that uh, when we are clicking on this fetch assign status or we can say when we are fetching the quiz just a moment teacher quiz uh, set assign status here we will show if uh, this is okay this is loop we can simply do that one thing in the row right in the row dot uh, we have a model right so quiz we need to fetch this data huh? quiz dot uh, we are fetching the quiz huh? let's uh, check the model first uh, here we have a model uh, quiz right now we need to fetch the data that uh, this quiz is not assigned huh? so let's check this fetch uh, definition assign status and this will be self right and return return we will return okay so we will just a moment we are fetching the quiz and in that quiz we will check uh, at every quiz we will check that this quiz is not assigned in the okay so let's return the assign status okay so this will be uh, model start course quiz dot objects dot filter right and uh, quiz equal to self 
and uh, quiz equal to self so it means uh, this is this should not be assigned it will be not here this will not here this will be here okay and this function will be here so assign status we will check object uh, object quiz equal to quiz self dot quiz and then we can just simply check that let's create the function for that okay let me see that how we can implement this what is the best way to implement okay let's check this first okay so i have found that uh, i have created uh, one method like we are creating we were creating that already so i have created one method assigned status in the quiz model and i'm just filtering the data if this quiz is exist in this uh, assigned then uh, we will count and uh, in the serializer i have added this function and in the assigned quiz i'm checking that if the assigned status is zero it means counting is zero that quiz is does not exist in the assigned model and then we will uh, give the button uh, assign quiz right and on this uh, click we will assign the quiz to the course with the course with the current course right so this is a row id of the uh, quiz and then uh, when it click then we will uh, we have a you know we have a course id here we will use that right so this is assign quiz and we will say this uh, delete why this we are we are going to make this delete we will say assign where it is uh, remove favorite mark as favorite enroll course so we will copy this right and let's fetch uh, let's uh, paste it here right and we will make it uh, assign quiz okay so this is assign quiz this is a function and this will be this function is here then what is this for bracket is oh we are closing this function uh, component right so set assign status now oh, we don't need to set this we don't need okay so assign quiz we are sending course id uh, here we will show quiz id okay so course id and then quiz so this will be quiz id okay so course id quiz id course id is coming from here there student uh, quiz assign course quiz assign course and we will say a uh, quiz is successfully assigned in the course quiz is successfully assigned in the course right so quiz assigned course so we will see this uh, value and uh, after the assigning it should work so this is assigned status so we will say actually we don't need this right so teacher id is here we are fetching this uh, course according to the teacher id and now it's uh, time to so, okay assign the assign quiz to course right so let's see we have already assigned that so that button is not showing here right okay so what we need to do now uh, assign quiz we need to check assign quiz we need to make this url now huh? so let's go to the url we have student enroll course right so student enroll course so we will copy this paste it here and what what we have created the, for the url and this is the quiz assign course okay so quiz assign course we have student enroll course list right let's check this in the view let's go to the view and here we are okay 
so we have this list create a student course enrollment student course enroll serializer we need to create serializer also so first of all let's paste it here and this will be assign course list assign quiz course list this is fine okay and assign quiz course serializer okay so quiz course serializer and the model will be you know the model will be uh, model is course quiz okay so let's go to the view let's add this here course quiz course quiz course quiz list okay now we need to create this serializer right so let's add the serializer on the top and let's go for the serializer which is student enroll student course enroll huh student course enroll here we are copy this simply okay and paste it here and we will change few things course serializer first of all we will change the name here we are and this will be course quiz and in this field we need course we need quiz and it will be add time and everything else is fine i think okay so view from the view uh, let's check this that where we are yeah course quiz list url course quiz list right so now we are posting this data okay so one thing more we are posting the quiz and the quiz and course so quiz and course we are posting let's check the model one more time here quiz and course let's add it here one more thing the teacher like who is uh, posting this right so we will say foreign key we will say teacher right and from the from the assign quiz uh, we will also add we will also add the teacher right so teacher is from our session okay i mean local storage right and let's uh, we don't need this main uh, quiz question not required add quiz question also not required we url so quiz assign course course quiz list and uh, we have a list and in the serializer we have a serializer here and let's add here uh, first of all we need to migrate this huh? so python3 manage.py make migrations right so here we are python3 manage.py migrate okay now run the server again okay so now we can add teacher okay so it will be easy to filter the data okay so teacher course quiz and from the assigned quiz we are passing all these things right let's check now okay so here we are and let's open the network and click here click quiz is assigned in the course let's check yes we have but the thing is okay what we will do i will uh, i will simply just uh, reload the window so window dot uh, what did it say window dot uh, where we are reloading this course detail teacher course okay add questions maybe here okay here we are reloading so i'll reload the page right so yes now if you add the course then it will be assigned so it means it's assigned and what we can see here we can just simply add one more thing here that uh, if it's uh, greater than zero right so if it's greater than zero uh, we will say simple thing we can say simple thing uh, assigned 
okay in the class uh, text primary right so this is assigned uh, let's say text success right so assigned this is assigned course right so now we have assigned this course to the uh, assigned this uh, quiz to the course okay so now course has been uh, linked with the uh, when we click on this it will show okay this is showing this uh, quiz is assigned okay one more thing we are showing this quiz and uh, we have to do one more thing we have to pass the course id then uh, we can uh, implement anything right so we have to add the course id here okay let's fetch the status with the uh, we are fetching the status with the help of that okay so we need to also when we are clicking here we are we are not passing this so if i uh, let's say if in the keyword argument find kw kw okay let's uh, see okay, assign status so uh, actually this is going for all the quiz but we need to fetch only for the specific huh so we need to i think we need to create a different uh, function uh, where we can check that that quiz is already exist or not because this is showing assigned for that and uh, uh, assign quiz we have here and here from here when we are mm, let's check this assigned status so we are fetching this okay let me check this sorry okay uh, so i have found the solution for uh, the assigning the quiz okay so that is different from our uh, previous error let's see that what uh, uh, what i want to uh, explain you let's understand okay so here we have a quiz uh, for the all uh, this uh, the teacher the logged in teacher added this quiz and uh, when we click on uh, uh, okay we are going to assign okay so here we have a course and ha we have added the button when we click on this it will show the quiz it will show the all quiz okay now that this thing this thing is coming from the child component right so what i have what i have done you already seen that the assign quiz right so apart from this what i have done let's understand so first i have created this component i have created this uh, react component check quiz in course and this is uh, this uh, we will treat this is a, as a child component we will pass props here properties and uh, here you can see that this is the td for the course name and this td uh, this td is for the check quiz and in this we are passing quiz and course okay so this is uh, you know the child component we are passing from uh, quiz and course here right so here in the props we are fetching the data in the use effect we are fetching fetch status assign quiz for, with the help of quiz and course and in the url we have here uh, here fetch quiz and assign this and fetch quiz we have created this function right uh, we have this function and from this function we are uh, fetching from the course quiz that this course and this quiz is if exist then we will say the assigned else we will say not assigned right so with this way we are doing this right so i hope you are understanding all the things right so you can see the code you will understand okay of course after your support you can be uh, you just give me your email id and i will give you the access for this code this uh, repository right so and i am thankful for the existing uh, you know the collaborators that who uh, send me the support and uh, i have given the access i am thankful for all of them okay so we have this course and we click on this this is you can see the assign quiz 
and when we are clicking on this we are running this function right here we have in the child quiz here we have a quiz okay assign quiz we are passing the quiz id and here we have a function we are passing teacher course quiz right so we are assigning the quiz right so when we click on this assign quiz it will assign the quiz in the uh, model right so we have everything now we are assigning the quiz we are creating the quiz i mean the teacher creating the quiz assigning the quiz according to the course now we need to work on the student dashboard right so we will see that how student will attempt the quiz and uh, how the result will be managed right and after that we will also upload the study material for the course right and uh, we will also add the search query okay so thank you so much for watching this video right so in the next video we will uh, work on the student dashboard okay thank you so much